all right guys next day after polishing and buffing this out okay um this is when all your defects if you have any will show up when you do the buffing your last stages and i can tell you that solvent pop that fish eye that i fixed right here was still a low spot and i fixed it really fast with some 1500 on a, a wood stick that i cut real short um and now i can't see it at all so now i just have to buff that spot and I had, an, I had another problem. I had other fish eyes or solvent pops that I had touched up. And so now they're high spots. And you can actually see it now that it's buffed out. I'm trying to get this on camera. You might not be able to see it on camera because you kind of have to look at it at an angle. But there's one right here. Right where my finger is. Right above there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right above my finger, and it's a high spot. You can see a little ring around it. A little halo ring, I guess you can say. There's one there, and there's a couple, one here, one here, one here. They're very faint ones. A couple there, and you have to look at them from an angle to see them. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but... Yeah, the way I'm fixing it is, again, I'm using a, a stick. And I'm using a, a wood stick because it's really flat. Um, if you remember, I used this sponge pad. There's, there's no, it's not hard at all. What I should have done was went over it first with the hard pad. Like, uh, even the Dura-Blocks are harder than that. Like, this is a Dura-Block one. It, it's, it's a little bit spongy, but not much. It's got more... It's more hard and actually you could use the, the edge of this and go over it like that too but I'm using a wood stick for now because it, it's working good and so yeah I got a there was one right here that I got out and it doesn't take much to get them out because they're they're you know they're you can barely see them but if you want it perfect you have to you have to do this um, or else you're gonna see them you're gonna see a little wave a little a little dot there you know and it just doesn't look good I know on the camera you probably can't see it but with my eyes you can it it just looks like a little pimple so there's one here and they're very small so I'm just trying to get rid of them best that I can there's one there and two here again these were probably the touch-up spots that I did on those solvent pops it couldn't even it could have even been from the first time that I did it when I first clear coated it so yeah that's what I'm doing right now you can see a couple here I don't know if you can see it on camera but there's one here really small and one here so. all right after wiping it off, now you can see the little halo. I don't know if it's a, it's not really a halo ring, but you can see it's a little dark spot right there and one right there. That is, it's dark there because it's a high spot. And so you just have to keep going over it until it's flat. I looked on video, there wasn't too many videos on this on YouTube. I guess usually people that have fish eye they only have one or two I had quite a bit the first time and I try to clear over it but I did go 1000 but you know even though I didn't I went 1000 it still had some spots where I missed where I didn't do it enough so I think that's just what it is it's from when I first cleared the car and I had solvent pops and I try to fix them I mean I had hundreds of them and then I had to sand it back down, but when I was sanding it back down, I didn't get them all. There was still a few that I missed. Alright, let's wipe that up one more time and see if there's still a little ring. If there's a ring, that means you can still see it. But see how the ring is going away? Perhaps with the finger can't feel it 
Uh, let me try to find another one. See, there's one right here on right. There's two of them right next to each other. Now, even if you try to feel it, you can barely feel it with your finger because it's very faint. That's on a curve, curved panel. So I got to be careful with that, not to burn through because it is on a, a curve. So I'm just going to go at it real soft. Try to go this direction. So I guess that's one good thing about black is it, if you don't have it perfect, it's going to show you. It's going to stick out. It's going to look like a door ding. Which is good because I can go around and fix it. So now, right there, you can still see it's dark. There's a dark circle. Two of them. One there and one there. I haven't sanded enough. Just keep going until until those little rings go away. With the 1500, you can go 1000, 1200, but I'm doing I'm sticking with 1500. I don't want to burn my paint, even though there's like six layers of paint clear on this car now. I'm sure I sanded a couple off. Okay, if you can see it at an angle, you're gonna see it when you buff it. So keep going, I can still see it. So I know you probably can't see it on camera, but I know it's there, so I'm gonna keep going. And now I know why they use, this is the first time I used the wood chip from a paint stick. And no wonder why they use them, because it works extremely good. And it's easy to grip. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over every square inch of this car. Any high spots like that, I will be fixing. Um, I have, <laughs> I have a little tiny little ding there that I missed. See, I tell you, black shows everything. Ever so small. But I can see it now that it's all glossed up. Oh well. Again, this is a daily driver. It's not going to be a show car. If it was a show car, probably get dinged a point or two for having a little ding there. Alright guys, as you can see, I was finished, but I want it perfect. So I had to go and hit up several little high spots in the clear coat. You can see there's several of them. And again, remember, go at an angle because you can only see them at an angle. And just kind of glance over it like this, back and forth, going different angles, going different. Use the light. You'll see if you got any hiccups. I can still see some little faint high spots here. It's so faint, but it's bothering me. So take my little block again. And just keep going wherever you think it's high just it won't hurt I think there's a high spot there what I should have done I should have went over the whole clear with a harder block for the very first cut instead of just using the soft one I should have used maybe this Dura block which is a little bit harder it's harder to bend this one than this one is just really soft but I'm learning, so not a big deal. You can still fix the little imperfections that you see. And that's what I'm doing right now is just enhancing the paint. So from here, I can see from where I'm at right here, there's some high spots in this little section here. So what I'm going to do is go over it a little bit. Alright guys, I'm getting kind of frustrated here. All that work I did seems like it didn't pay off too good. I mean, it was okay, but it just was too wavy. I, I seen too many dipples in it. Uh, I call them pimples because they, they, they're high spots. So, what I did is I just went over it real quick with a Dura Block pad, which this one's a lot harder than that soft one. And 
this should probably work better because the other one was just too soft I swear this is just riding over the bumps I mean look how soft that is this is more of a final sanding one oh well I'm learning so you want to use something harder on your first pass I was a little afraid of 1500 but I, I really think that that will cut it a lot faster than 2000 um, but I mean 15 2000 it's it's not too much different so that's what I'm doing I'm going over it again with the uh, 1500 I just went real quick just to if there's any little bumps to kind of shave that down and now I gotta go 2000 again and then buff it all over again but I just wasn't happy with the little it wasn't a lot of them there was just a few of them where it looked like high spots and again, I think that's because of my solvent pops that I tried to feel. And it was just uh, coming back to haunt me. So, live and learn. I've learned my lesson. Um, over here, had a little, couple little spots there that I had to go over. And, um, yeah, remember I did this one with no machine, uh, with no rubbing compound. And you can still faintly see the little scratch marks going this way in it it looks kind of like just like looks like a towel just kind of went like that it's not really that I mean actually the towel seems to make more scratches than the than those little fine scratches so I don't know it looks pretty good though but yeah I got to do this all over again and you can see there's still a little see that high spot you can see it's a circle so that's what I'm talking about you can see little solvent pops one there and one there when you go over it with the 15 it really shows you all the little imperfections in it 2000 eh. maybe if I would have went with a harder block would have been better yeah you can see there's a little spot there so all this has to be gone over again because I'm not happy. I'm not a happy camper until this thing's looking super flat. All right, it just ran over it real quick with 2000 grit on the soft block this time, not the dura block. And I just went real quick just to get rid of the little 1500 grit sand marks. You don't have to do every single thing because I've already buffed this like twice. So uh, now I'm going to move on to, I, I just picked up a... 3000 Trizac. I want to try this one out. I already tried the this one uh, Which came from like uh, O'Reilly's or something auto store. That's Finnish one brand uh, So this is more like a cloth material. I'm gonna try the Trizac one. I do have this in a, a DA, but I want to use the one by hand and do it by hand and see how it comes out now This is down to 2000. I could go to 2500, but most people say you don't have to so probably just do the 3000 all right guys after going over it with 3000 trizac 3m pad I have to say I think the 3m trizac pad has less scratches than these other pads because these pads I used yesterday even with the 5000 you can see it left little lines it looked good but it left little lines scratch lines that was in the pad this one you know, I can't really see the lines, but I'd have to buff it to find out. But I got I got a 5,000 grit Trizac on order. They didn't have any more in stock, so I got to wait a few days to get the 5,000. Because what I think I want to do is get the 5,000, rub it down with the 5,000, and then go straight to number two machine polish. Skip the rubbing compound, because I really don't see this with too many scratches. It, I might be able to get away with just using the... The rubbing compound, I mean, uh, the machine polish and skip the rubbing compound. So, and it looks really nice. I mean, now I'm sure all those little dipples that I had are gone. Those were real nasty. Uh, you only could see them at an angle, but I can imagine it, this being in the sun and all those little high spots sticking out. It, it would be just as bad as having door dings. You know, 
so I had to take care of that didn't like that so yeah I probably could buff this rubbing compound but like I said I want to get the 5,000 grit and I want to try that out before uh, do it with machine polish and see if that is going to be less scratches than doing it with the rubbing compound so give me a few more days maybe even a week for me to uh, test that out and I guess today I'll just start working on this side and get it all the way up to 3000 grit now, I'm gonna go 1500 this time because um, yeah I got see you could see little high spots from the solvent pop that I filled and there's a few of them in it so if I don't go 1500 grit these things are gonna pop out at me later on so I'm just gonna go 1500 grit same thing like the other side that I did and then go to 2000 2500 and then I'll do the 3000 just because I have all the sandpaper might as well just do it and it it's only time so don't please don't comment on on here on YouTube and say you're stupid you should have only went to 2000 then went to buffing that's your opinion great but this is the way I'm doing it I want to go 2000 1500 2000 2500 3000 and 5000 big deal so sue me it's my car I'll do what I want so anyways that's just for the people that like to complain and always act like they know everything so anyways that's what I'm doing and yeah I'll have to just make a video later when I get those 5000 Trizac pads and probably when I get it I'm gonna try to get rid of these swirls and stuff that are in this from the other pad I used with the Trizec pad because uh, having lines that go like that everywhere just it's either I get swirls or I get the lines and I don't want neither one I want it to be nice and glossed so I think that's why the Trizac pads gonna shine all right quick view of two th uh, 1500 and then 2000 on a soft pad it just finished up and I went into all the little orange pills gone so there's no orange pill um, this side looks a lot better than the other side a lot more flatter probably because I went with the 1500 yeah but this one's been 3000 Trizac so now I'm gonna hit the 3000 on this side, 3M Trizac pad, and I'll do the top, and then I'm pretty much done here. All I have to do is wait up for the uh, 5000 Trizac, uh, polish that out, and then it's good to buff. I just did this whole section with 3000, and I stopped right here. You can even see the line where I stopped, right there. So from there up, it's, it's uh, 2000. Two thousand, and that's three thousand. Trizac. You can see it does it does get those scratches, real microscopic. All right, I'm all finished up. Went all the way to three thousand, everywhere. On both sides and on top of the roof. It's pretty smooth. But like I said, I'm going to wait to get the 5000 Trizac because I really want to see if I can polish this up without using the rubbing compound. That's my, that's my uh, agenda, what I want to do. At least it's what I want to try to do. Um, just for kicks to see if it's going to come out nicer. If it doesn't, no big deal. If I, if I rub down 5,000 and I do the machine polish and it looks like there's a lot of lines in it, well, then I'll just put on the rubbing compound on a wool pad and I'll go over it. No biggie. It's worth a shot to see if it's going to come out a little nicer, though, So, in my opinion. And I did have to go over a couple spots with 1,500 here and there that looked like it was kind of wavy or high spots, so took care of that too.